guys, it's Melissa from Melissa's Creations, and this is Melissa's Creations Live. I am trying to figure out how to do this whole live YouTube thing, so please bear with me as I work to figure out all of the bugs. Um, I am going to post this to Facebook as well to see if I can get any viewers live. And I'm going to go over a few things. Today is Wednesday, October 19th, and I am in Oregon. So that means that it is 9.31 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time at the moment. And I am going to show you guys how to jazz up the mystery box that we made last week. Have any of you guys made that box? Did you enjoy it? Um, I did a... Uh, advent calendar with it and I will show you guys that really quick. It was a lot of fun to make. Sorry for my messy scrap room but here is my advent calendar that I made out of those cute little boxes. That was my mystery box so I'm going to show you an alternate project that you can make super, super quick and easy, and best part about it is you get to use up all of your scraps. Well, not all of them, because I know we all have a lot of scraps, but you get to use up quite a few scraps to jazz up one of those little mystery boxes. And then as soon as we're done with the box, I have a few things to share with you guys, um, some Stampin' Up! updates and some news about my website. So, I'm going to turn you guys around. Let's get started on jazzing up our cute little mystery box. So bear with me for just a second. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is the jazzed up mystery box. How stinking cute is that? I used the die from the Star of Light stamp set bundle. And I have a cute little... Um, sweetie on there with a pearl and we used some of the stitched edge ribbon in real red and this is great because you can just use up some of your scraps that you might have lying around oh I see hi from Kit in the UK the video has frozen but hi oh hello I am um, I have to look behind me to see the comments so if I miss anybody I'm sorry but thank you for joining from the UK um, I am testing out this live stream, so hopefully I'll be able to have a clear uh, quality video. I'm sorry if there's any if there's any weird stuff. I'm working out all the bugs. So anyway, hi, 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 UK. So uh, this uses some scraps that we can utilize to make a cute little decoration for our box. This is a belly band, so it just slides right off and then you can open up your box to get to your goodies. So putting designer series paper around your box is optional for this step, but not necessary. And I think the belly band just really adds to it, makes it so stinking cute. What do you guys think? Is that okay? Do you like it? Let's go ahead and put one together. I'm gonna to show you some of the scraps that I have here. So, as you can see, I was playing with my Jar of Love stamp set, and I have a little bit of extra room on here. So, to use the extra space on this scrap, I'm going to take the little candy, the circle candy piece, from the Candy Cane Christmas stamp set. It's this little guy right here. I'm going to get some real red, and we're going to stamp one of them in the spare space. There's still lots of space on here, you guys. There's a lot of places we could stamp this little half-inch guy. So I'm going to take my half-inch circle punch, and I am going to punch that out, just like so. Okay, so now how many of you guys cut your strips of paper and just recycle them? Because you're like, what am I ever going to do with that small of a strip? There's lots and lots of things that you can do with this size of a strip. I have a bag full of strips like this, but I don't get rid of them because you can always find something to use it on. So we're going to do that with our little box today. So this is my box and I'm just going to try something really quickly so I can see if it works. This is the template for the box that I'm making. You can view it at um, my on my channel. 
on my YouTube channel here, you can see the box in action being put together. So that is the template. Let's get back to assembling it now. This is also part of my video for the mystery box. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about all of that, but we're just going to slap this sucker together. It goes together super quick. And here is the front because I have my little thumb hole. Here is the back. Now you could glue this together if you'd like, but you can leave it just folded and that will allow you to um, unfold it and store it flat. So let's say you wanna make quite a few for gifts for people. That would be a great way to store it flat so that you can just put it together at the end when you're ready to use it. So I have my scrap of Whisper White. I'm going to start it in the back, on the back of my box. And then I'm just going to wrap it around and use my fingers to kind of pinch my score line. That will give me all of the wiggle room that I need when I want to slide this on and off. So then I'm just going to take my bone folder and reinforce those creases that I made with my fingers. And then we will have a custom fit belly band that is using scrap paper. We didn't have to do any extra uh, measuring or scoring. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the end of that and find the back of my box again. And then we'll just wrap this around and glue it down. One like two. And then we're going to add some gorgeous stitched edge ribbon. Yes. So I'm just going to measure it by wrapping it around right on top of that scrap white paper. I'm going to trim that off right about there. And I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive just to keep that ribbon from sliding on the white portion of our scrap paper there. So again, this is the back of our box here. And this is the front. There we go. There's the front. And we'll just adhere this to the white belly band all the way around to the back. And I have this already cut out from the Star of Light Thinlets, and it's super easy. This is small enough you could fit that on a scrap as well. I have this piece that I stamped out earlier. Hi, Mary from California. Oh, thanks. Uh, my my camera or my um my computer is behind me, so I have to turn around and look to see the comments. So um, thank you for joining. I'm so glad you guys are all here. Yay! It's so much fun. I love doing the live videos. I don't do enough of them. Okay, so I'm going to take a dimensional, and I'm going to put that on the back of my little snowflake star. It kind of looks like a snowflake too, doesn't it, a little bit? And then I'm going to take a glue dot with my little candy, my half-inch candy that I punched out, and that's going to go right on top. And then a pearl to finish it off. I'm going to use one of the large pearls here, just like that. Then we can take the backing off of this guy. And now you can either pop it right on the top or you can pop it down here on, actually, let me figure out where my front is again. I always get that front mixed up, but I know this is the front because I have my little divot out of the, I punched a little half inch thumb hole there. So you can either put it on top like I did with this box or you can put it on the front so that when it's displayed higher you can see the front of it has a nice decoration on it. So there are the two boxes. Super cute. Just another short little project that you can make using the mystery box template that I have on my channel. I'm going to flip you guys around again, so bear with me for a moment. Okay. Hi, guys. It's Melissa. <laughs> if you didn't know already, let me see if I can get you into... I just need to do some adjusting. I still have some kinks to work out. This is my first 
live video on YouTube, so hopefully we're doing okay. I know there's there's still some bugs that I can work out and some angles that I can readjust, but I think we're doing okay so far. There we go. Wow. I'm so excited that you guys joined me today. I just have a couple of things to go over with you guys. Number one, all of you that follow my channel already know that Stampin' Up! is having their designer series paper sale. Buy three, get one free. So make sure you check out those available products if you haven't already. And that is a great deal because if you were interested in making the little advent calendar that I put together that I have on my channel, this takes 100 pieces of one and a half by one and a half inch squares of that designer series paper. So this is a great project to use those pieces on. Now this is smaller than I've seen a lot of other people make their advent calendars. Um, these are one and three quarter inch boxes two inch, three inch, I mean, you could get crazy. There are a lot of different possibilities with this little guy, but that would be a great project to use your designer series paper on. So it's a really good time to stock up. Candy Cane Lane is on that list, which is what I used for mine but there are several papers on there that are not just Christmas. There's two Christmas ones. The rest are By the Shore, Festive Birthday, Blooms and Bliss, Fruit Stand, Moroccan, and Floral Boutique. So there's a lot of great papers to choose from. You can head right over to melissascreations.stampinup.net, click on shop now, you'll see a banner right on the front page of the, wet, the store, the online store, telling you about that great sale. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know, on my website, melissascreations.com, I have implemented a rewards program. So for every $250 you spend, you'll get $15 in Melissa's Creations cash. Now this is in the beta testing stage. So hopefully everything goes okay and I can continue to offer that great promotion to my customers. If you want more details on that, head over to melissascreations.com and click on rewards so you can read up all about that. I do have a tracking form for you to download and fill out as you place your orders with me. And once that form fills up to $250, then you can turn it in and I will get you some free goodies of your choice. Um, read all the details. Of course, there's fine print, so make sure you look at that too. And that's on the rewards page at melissascreations.com. Oh my goodness, look at everybody. I have to turn around and see my computer so I can see all of the comments. Let's see. Hi, Heather. Ohio. Awesome. Um, thank you, Mary. Thank you and um, bring it on Pat. Oh, Arkansas, great. Hi, Cheryl. Cheryl's my mom, if everybody didn't know already. So hi, mom from Oregon. Um, hello from France. Oh my gosh, we have France with us today. That is so exciting. Oh, I'm so glad that you guys were here to join me. I'm going to try to do a live event every Wednesday morning, and I started this at 9.30, so it'll be somewhere between 9.30 and 10, hopefully, if I can get my, my behind out of bed and, and get ready for the day. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video. You can also contact me via email, or there's lots of other ways. I'm all over Facebook and Instagram. If you wanted to see where I am, go ahead and click on contact me on my website, melissascreations.com, and there's a load of things that you can use to get in touch with me. So again, thank you guys so much for joining. Make sure I don't have any last minute comments. I think we're good. Thanks so much, guys. I had such a blast today, and hopefully I'll have some more content and another great sample for you next week. Don't forget, Friday, I am going to upload a video on, what is that video on? I, I did it on, I filmed it on Monday, and now my brain is just, oh yes, it's a very cute Halloween project. So make sure that you stay tuned on my channel. Friday, I will be uploading that and posting a little blurb about it on my uh, website, melissascreations.com. So again, thanks guys. I had so much fun, yay. See you guys later.